like some weird angles going on. The framing of this video feels like one of those like YouTuber apology videos, but this is not that. Hi, welcome back to my life. Today, I kind of just wanted to sit down and have a heart to heart life updates chat with you guys because it's been a while. It feels weird not to be doing something with my hands because I feel like in all my videos, I'm either like doing makeup or dyeing my hair or making something like a DIY something and today it's just me sitting here and talking. I guess the first thing I wanted to talk about is just my upload schedule. I know I have been so spotty with uploading lately. I, I've i been trying to keep up with my once a week upload schedule but things have just been getting in the way. Um, there's a couple of reasons why I've been pretty bad at posting. So the first one is I've been trying to move to New York and it has been so unsuccessful. The reason being that the New York housing market right now is insane. I don't know if anyone else is in this boat right now trying to find a place to live in. There are just no apartments on the market and any apartment or decently good apartment that goes onto the market gets snatched immediately. And as you guys might know, I'm in Maryland. So the whole seeing apartments process has been terribly terrible. <laughs> so thankfully my boyfriend James is in the city right now, but I just feel so bad having to ask him to see places for me and my roommate. It's been, I think maybe a month and a half to two months of just looking at apartments and legitimately we have seen maybe over 50 places virtually through video and then i've had james see maybe five places and my roommate's friend see like three or four places and it's just so bad. However, we did put in an application yesterday for a unit that we liked and hopefully it works out. And if it does, that means I'll be moving in the next two weeks, which is so soon, but also so far away. And I'm actually kind of excited because that unit has a huge living space, except the rooms are slightly small, but we'll make do. Hopefully it's sufficient for filming YouTube videos, um, maybe a little bit better than my current filming situation. By the way, I never mentioned this, but I am back at home with my parents. Some of you guys might know I moved a couple of months ago and I had been living there for a brief bit, but the reason I moved back is because I thought I would be going to New York very soon, but then the housing situation has delayed me a couple of months. So I've just been intermittently in my parents' house. And yeah, I'm just really excited to move out. I'm gonna miss my family and my cat a lot. And on the topic of my cat, I know I'm gonna get like a question or two about what's gonna happen to my cat. She actually came with me from New York, but I think I'm going to leave her with my family. And that is really hard for me to say because I really wanna bring her with me. However, she's had just a wonderful life in Maryland and there's three to four times the amount of space for her to run around. And there's nature and there's constantly people around in the house, which is something that she didn't have when she was back in New York. I would go to the office for the whole day and then come back so she'd be on her own for eight hours at a time. And that was just really sad for me as a cat parent. And I know it was pretty sad for her because we had such limited space in our two bedroom flex apartment. So it's definitely a very hard decision for me to make, but I think I'm gonna leave her with my family just because I know that's probably where she's gonna be the happiest. And I won't be able to see her as often, but I will try to make it home as often as I can. And I know that's kind of bittersweet and you guys haven't seen her in a while, so let me get her so you can see her. Here she is. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> so that is what I'm planning for Gata. And actually, second update, I've been trying to adopt another cat for my family and it's been a couple of weeks of looking on Petfinder mostly, but we have found a cat and I'm so excited. I actually thought she was gonna come home with us this week, but she got spayed this weekend. And I think they want her to be in her foster home for a little bit longer and then we can pick her up next weekend. So I really wanted to show you guys the new kitty, but I guess that will be at a later time. Hi guys, so this is Sarah from the future and we actually picked up our kitten slash cat. She's more of a cat, not a kitten, but we picked her up this week and she's in the new house and she's very, very sweet and let me just go get her she's like crouched in a corner right now but hopefully she'll let me pick her up and i can introduce her um so you can't really see me but this is whitney oh there she goes you can see her 
tail like wagging right here but she's currently in my dad's room just quarantining from gata also there she is she's so pretty i was actually kind of worried that she wouldn't want to be on camera so i'm just gonna let her sit there for now so this is whitney slash honey slash winnie we do not have an official name for her yet, but her vet records say honey. There is her little tail, which is so cute. She's like a domestic uh, medium hair, I think. So that's why she's a little fluffier than Gata is. They're both precious, by the way. I love them equally as much. But she is just the cutest thing. She loves this toy that we made for her. It is actually just a window turner window rod um attached to two strings of fabric and she is obsessed with this do you see that And I'm not gonna pick her up because she's pretty content right here, I think, although her tail's wagging a little, so she might be annoyed. We adopted her from a rescue in Virginia, and we were actually looking for kittens, but the policy was that kittens need to go home in pairs, and she's kind of reckless. <laughs> but So how we ended up with Whitney is I was looking on Pet Finder for the last couple of weeks, and there's so many kittens and cats out there, and we just ended up falling in love with her kittens. Um, she just had a litter of six kittens, I believe, and when I reached out, they said that we had to adopt them in pairs. We decided that we couldn't take on two kittens right now, and I saw a listing for Whitney, and I didn't even realize, but she's the mother of the kittens. We ended up just FaceTiming with them, and there she goes. We ended up just FaceTiming with her foster mom because she was in foster care at the time. I, I personally fell in love with her. She just seems so calm and precious and adorable. She looks like a kitten. We drove all the way to Virginia to get her on Wednesday. But other than that, she's been super sweet, super nice. She is somewhat of a chewer, so she will start gnawing on your hands whenever you put your hand near her. And I don't know if it's like a kitten instinct or not, but we're trying to fix that. <laughs> that is a little bit about Whitney. I wish the sun were out today so you could see her in her full glory. She has like the prettiest blue eyes. And I have an inkling that she might be an albino cat rather than a white cat. Apparently there's a distinction, but I just can't tell. And I did get slightly worried that she was deaf because she wasn't responding to like sounds that we were making and apparently 65 to 85 percent of white cats are deaf so yeah just i've learned a lot of random facts about white cats in the last week and the third kind of life update on my end i feel like i'm talking to my manager <laughs> yeah i need to stop that all my social interactions have been with my coworkers, so now i feel like i talk very formally it is so weird okay Anyways, I feel like I don't really talk about my work life or my personal life really that often, but this is like a pretty big life change, I think, because it has been eating away at my time a little bit more. It probably explains why I've been off the grid so much <laughs> on social media, but I did switch teams last, last week. So it's been two weeks already. So I'm a software engineer, as I've probably mentioned in videos in the past, but I think one thing I haven't really told you guys is I got promoted last cycle. And since then, I've just been a little bit burnt out and trying to figure out what I want to do with my life. And that's been, I'm still trying to figure it out. I think I won't really ever know until I reach that point. But I felt so much burnout in my job. Sorry, that was my water bottle. <laughs> and this opportunity to switch into a new team actually came to me. It was actually very serendipitous. My friend reached out to me about a month ago and said, hey, there's this opening on our team. Do you want to talk to my manager? Maybe you'd be interested. And I said yes, and I talked to her manager and it just seemed like a great fit. And so that was very quick and it just happened like that. And now I'm on a new team. So far, it's been a lot of learning, a lot of reading up on things and trying to understand like a new stack and a new framework, but it's been good. And I think that is one of the reasons I've been just so busy lately, which is I've been trying to wrap up work on my old team and then onboard onto a new team. And yeah, a lot of my time goes into my job, which 
makes me sad, <laughs> but that's just life. I'm really happy with this kind of change of pace in my work life, but also the one thing that's come out of it is that I have placed YouTube on somewhat of a back burner and I'm trying to revive my channel <laughs> um, or myself on my channel. I think when I first started doing YouTube, I really enjoyed making videos and I really got so excited about different ideas that I had for videos. And recently just being so busy and stressed with work, trying to find an apartment in New York, trying to find a new kitten for our family. I've just been so busy. And so whenever I stop to film something or try to make a good video, it doesn't turn out as well as I want. And then I get really upset. And then I just get into the cycle of feeling like I'm not good enough and that I need, I, I just can't do YouTube anymore. And it makes me really sad because YouTube is one of the things that I used to really enjoy doing. And it's not to say I'm gonna stop doing YouTube. <laughs> this is not the announcement I'm gonna make in this video. Not that I had an announcement in this video. So I don't know if you guys can really tell when I'm kind of offbeat in my YouTube videos, but I can and it makes editing really hard when I can see that I'm not at my best and when I'm just burning out essentially. And I'm trying really hard to fix that. And my hope is that once I move back to the city and I have my life back on track, things will get a lot better, especially with my channel too, but that's always a gamble. So outside of that, I don't think anything's really been going on in my life. James, my boyfriend, is currently in New York City, so we'll be together soon. We have been binging so many shows together. We watched Squid Game, which is really good, but you probably know that because it's number one in the world right now. Just finished season three of You and this season was so crazy compared to the other seasons. If you've watched it, let me know what you think about it in the comments below without spoiling anything. I actually don't think there's a show that I'm on currently. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know down below. See, this is the downside of not scripting out your YouTube videos is that there's so much footage of me just sitting here like thinking of what to say. <laughs> but I think that's pretty much it. I really just wanted to sit down and give you guys some life updates, see how you guys are doing, but yeah. I hope you guys are happy and healthy and hopefully I will catch you guys next week. Peace.